you've got the, uh, the booking agents, you need a booking agents to get your UK to European tours. So they, they go hand in hand with the big companies, they all work together, they do. As much as you can try, but they do work hand in hand so you know. But I suppose, uh, that's, that's, that's about it really. I guess sometimes we go searching for a different kind of love, for a different kind of love, for a different kind of love. My name is Jersey Boy, I'm a singer-songwriter, and the genre, I suppose, is folk rock. For me, it all works like a, in, a, in a big circle. You play good gigs, get some good songs, you get people to come into your gigs, your fans, and make a bit of a name. Promoters all start talking about you, and then in turn the promoters pass you on to companies, go right, right, we're getting a big crowd for, for Jersey Budding, for example. And, and that, it, it has to get a little bit easier when you get a big crowd, but that's to, that's a snowball, you see. It, it can't, you don't just start from scratch and get signed on the second day. You have to do some really hard groundwork. You feel like you're playing Wembley. I remember being there. You're playing, playing the shed, and, and, you, and that's it. You get you get 50 people in, and you'd you, you be buzzing. So that it gives them a, it's a great apprenticeship if you want. I wake up and a couple things tell me that trouble stays. Hi, my name is uh, Mark Kelly. I'm a singer-songwriter. Dress folded over my door. She's wearing one of my shirts, even though I told her no more. And BBC Introducing uh, has been a really good platform for for me, uh, another inside artist. So you can get like big festival slots, Radio One Play, uh, that sort of thing. And I think as well, people are getting more; they're, they're becoming more aware of it. So that's great as well. Just like the best thing that could ever happen to you as a band. I'm Jake and I play bass. I'm Eddie and I play the drums. Connor, I sing and play guitar. Festivals are probably the best in, it's sort of, <clears throat> it's not like, it's not like touring because obviously fans have come to see a certain band or yeah. a certain sort of genre of music but I know for a fact when you go to a festival, if you play a festival, there's so many like different people that want to like, just come and or dig the music or whatever, even if they've never heard of you before, they'll go because their mates go in or something. Yeah, you know, a lot of it is the money. Um, you've got people investing you that investing in you that have got a lot of expertise in marketing and you know they know where to pitch it and stuff. Um, it's a difficult one. I think it definitely depends on sort of what kind of artist you are and how motivated you are. If you had the time. If you did three gigs a week, all around the UK, say 200 quid, I don't know, 150 quid, there's ways of doing it. Yeah, yeah, of course there is. Remember him saying Facebook and Twitter's gonna be really huge and sort of a bit uh, naive of me, but I never, I never knew the impact it'd have on this. They, they'll, they'll tell you, they'll push you to try and push you into a corner that they think is going to benefit you. And obviously the older and wiser you get, you, sort of just, you have to stay true, you have to stay true to yourself. You can't, can't deviate from that, that sort of vision you've got. You can't because it is so important. Because then you wouldn't be an artist, would you? You'd be a, you'd be a might have gone the X Factor and just sort of sing what they wanted to sing. Sing someone else's songs. Smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're
Yeah.